Good morning. Welcome to another Devotion on the Go, the final one of our Lenten season. And we're looking ahead now uh, to Holy Week, the week when we remember Jesus's triumphant entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. When we look at Jesus's washing of the disciples' feet and that Last Supper on Thursday, when we remember Jesus's crucifixion on Friday and when we remember the joy of the resurrection on Easter Sunday. And I don't know how you feel about Holy Week or what place it has in your own lives, um, but for me it's a time of uh, a real importance uh, for us as the church. And there's a lot of emotions that go on during Holy Week. We have, of course, the joy um, of Palm Sunday, the triumphant entry, um, but then we realise that actually what is to come isn't that easy to get through. There's betrayal, there's that funny um, day that we call Spy Wednesday. I'd never heard of this before, but apparently Wednesday is Spy Wednesday, where we remember Judas, the spy, if you will, um, who is going to sell Jesus uh, out uh, to those who want to kill him. So there's a hurt there and a pain in the betrayal. And then, of course, there's the pain of crucifixion and the, uh, the absolute abandonment of Jesus on the cross by his friends. And that's another hard thing to go through. But on the other side of it all, there's Easter Sunday, the resurrection. And it's a sign, isn't it, that the resurrection brings hope even in the most difficult circumstances. I don't know uh, where you feel at the moment, whether you're in a, um, a easy place by still and calm waters or in a difficult place, in maybe in the darkest valley. But the, the Holy Week shows us that even in that place of difficulty, of pain and suffering, there is hope because of the resurrection. So I pray where, where you are that you can fix your eyes on Jesus um, as I can see him in my phone at the moment over there um, and remember the resurrection hope that is to come. Amen.